Hi my friends, welcome to Crown Strings. I'm Henriette and today we are practicing hobby horses. I'll play it for you first. to sing this song as hobby horses, hobby horses, gently rocking side to side, hobby horses, hobby I think when you add words to a piece, it makes it easier to remember. It's similar to thinking of patterns, and you've probably spotted the pattern already in this piece. We've been talking about patterns quite a lot in the course of the earlier pieces of this book, so it's always a good idea. Have you seen the pattern if you hadn't noticed it before? Now, you will have noticed that all of the notes here are played at the lower half of the bow. So just refresh your memory on where your sticker or your marker is in the middle of the bow. That's where we're going to go to. All of these notes, the black notes, are called crotchets. Have you practiced saying that word recently? Crotchets? Okay, you can practice it now. Right, let's have a look now and let's practice it. First of all, we know that we've got a finger on the D string. So let's practice that finger, check your finger line, check your thumb, check your tennis ball, so you've got all your fingers in a good position. And we're just going to practice D and one on D. Okay, just hover that finger above that spot. And now we're going to start on the G string. Now, when we play the first two notes, Adjust your elbow level so that your elbow is higher on the G than it is on the D string, okay? Here we go from the beginning. Ready? And... practice in this piece. The first thing is, is your finger in tune? You can practice that finger a couple of times and also the first finger on the A string. And I would like you to listen very carefully because when you play three of those fingers in a row they might be slightly different. Which one do you think is the best sounding one? Shall we try that again? We're practicing the first finger on D now. Listen carefully. Good stuff. And now let's practice the first finger on A. Which one is your best one that you can find? Lovely 
this stuff. Now hover your finger above that spot and now we're going to work again on our elbow levels. Remember that we practiced that seesaw exercise. Let's just briefly go back over that again while your finger is there, okay, while your finger is still hovering, okay. Put the bow down on the G string in the middle, drop your elbow so your bow goes to the E string. Now raise your elbow and it will pull the bow up towards the G string. Remember to leave your shoulder down. There we go, really good. Okay, now let's go back to the heel of the bow. That's the place where we're starting. And now we'll play the whole piece once again. After four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> change is exactly the same as your note change. So what I want you to listen out for and try to avoid is this. <laughs> Listen super carefully to your own playing. while I play it. If you work at it and use that method of practicing, it's going to pay off and get your results really, really quickly. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Do join me again soon. Do please write in the comments section. It's so nice for me to read about what people think after this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do so now too and hit the bell button. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>